hello welcome back to my channel amanda's tarot and spells if you're a returning subscriber thank you very much for returning to my channel if you are a new viewer feel free to hit the subscribe button hit the like button and drop a comment below i appreciate all the new subscribers welcome to my channel i hope you guys continue to view my videos and show love and support and give comments and all of that good stuff it is very much appreciated um, also, I'm doing a $100 cash app giveaway, and in order to su in order to qualify for that, all you have to do is subscribe, hit the like button, and drop your cash app in the comments, and I will be doing a drawing for that on May 31st. Okay, so this is going to be a another general love read for you and the person who is on your mind. <clears throat> Before we get started, let's go ahead and send back any energy and block some energy from this reading okay so anybody who views this video including myself we ask you holy spirit and our spirit guides to send back energy to anyone who is sending us energy if they are sending us good energy we send that energy back to them 10 times fold if they are sending us negative energy or praying on our downfall sending us ill will doing unspell do, doing unwanted spell work or any things of that nature we send that energy back to them 10 times fold. It is their energy to keep. It no longer affects us. It is not ours. We block that energy. So much to be, so it is done. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Remember that there is no time and gender in tarot. So switch the roles, the genders, the times, and all of that good stuff as you see fit to your situation. If the message is not for you, do not force it to fit. Leave it there for somebody else. Only take what resonates. Okay, let's go ahead and get started thank you holy spirit and spirit gods for being here with us please give us clear accurate messages that we need to hear please protect us and guide us through this reading and please protect us from all negative energy that is being sent our way spirit give me a card for the general for the collective and the person on their mind oh this person can have a big ego. We'll take the one off the top. This person is definitely watching you. Because you have staring, staring at your pictures online. So this person is looking at some type of pictures that you may have sent them. Somebody sent their person some pictures that they're staring at. You have karma. You have go back into time. And I'm also picking up with a pre-shuffle that somebody feels like they're lost without you. So you have reaching out soon, yearning and longing, karma, and go back into time. So there's, there's somebody, your person is missing you. And your person wants to reach out soon. Spirit, give me another card for the collective and the person on their mind, please. One more shuffle. Give me a card for the collective and the person on their mind or I'll take one. I'll take one. This could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You're telling this person, hell no, it's over. I feel like you're aware that this person misses you. This could be a water sign. This person could have ghosted you. This could be earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Virgo, or Capricorn. Spirit, give me another card for the collective and the person on their mind. This could be a cancer sign. Give me another card for the collective and the person on their mind or I'll take one. I know him when he's with you. Give me one more card for the collective and the person on their mind. This person is very attracted to you though. This definitely could be an air sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that you're dealing with. I'm also picking up that this person could be younger than you. This was a bittersweet situation. So things took a left. I'm feeling like things took a left like really fast. It's got this person wishing that they wishing they could have went back in time, wishing they could go back into time and not even do whatever it was that they did, which I'm feeling like was put you in a third party situation with a karmic, a karmic that made herself known. A karmic that was trying to fuck up your peace of mind. You could have blocked this person because of this karmic. You have this person blocked. I know his heart is yours. Yeah, there's a karmic 
who's coming through in this reading. This could be your air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This person has you thinking, was it even real? This person has you questioning the stability of the relationship. But this person is feeling stressed out now. I just seen love spells. Somebody was doing some type of love spells that they're receiving karma for. I'm feeling like somebody did some love spells to take your person away from you. To make you guys break up. To make you guys have fights. And now they're receiving karma. Because they came in between a divine connection. They came in between you guys. But it was destined for you guys to be together. Because you guys have... You guys have lessons to learn with each other, and they came in between that. So they're receiving karma for it. So there's a karmic here that's receiving karma. Spirit, give me another card for the collective. This could be a water sign. Yeah, you have the devil energy here. Your person is stuck in the devil energy. They're stuck being obsessed about you. They're stuck in their head about you. They're stuck in their head about you. Spirit, give me another card for the collective and the person on their mind. You're telling this person, yeah, they're in a mental prison right now. This person is in a mental prison because i just seen the legal card. Legal court situations, legal court stresses. So this person could either be in a physical prison or they could be in a mental prison thinking about you. They can't get out of their head about you. This person is very obsessed with you. I'm hearing it's an unhealthy attachment. This person is treating whoever that they left you for, whoever they ghosted you for, whoever they brought this, whoever brought this third party's energy into this situation. They're over there treating that person like shit. Because they don't trust this person. Not like they trust you. Yeah, this person has some fake happiness going on. This person is putting on a front in front of people. There's somebody who don't want to see you guys together. There are people who don't want to see you guys together. This person could be codependent on you. Somebody around you is pregnant. Yeah, this person is feeling frustrated without you. I just seen the frustrated card again. Spirit, give me another card for the collective and the person on their mind, please. Thank you. Yeah, somebody's doing some type of spells. Somebody did some love spells. Somebody did some spells to pull your masculine away from you because you got the magician right here. And it's backfiring on them. The reason that they're getting, the reason that this person is treating them like shit is because they're not even supposed to be with this person. This person got them by, per per by performing love spells on them. You got someone new and real coming. You've got someone new and real coming your way. Somebody that this person feels like whoever's on your mind, they feel like you're bringing competition into it. Like they feel like they're going to have to compete for your love eventually because you got somebody, you got somebody new and real coming your way. But this person wants you to talk to them. This person wants you to talk to them. I'm picking up. You're ignoring this person. They're calling and you're declining their calls. They're texting and you're not even texting back. I'm hearing somebody don't even have this person blocked. They're just letting them call and declining it. They're just letting them text and they ain't saying shit back. Like they ain't giving them no feedback. This person can't get through to you. So they're trying to connect with you on a 5D level. This could be an air sign that you're dealing with. This person wants you to fight for, for y'all's relationship. This person only loves you. Yeah, you got this person stressed out. This person is yearning and longing so hard for you and missing you so much and so much in their head about you. They're becoming stressed out. And I'm hearing that it's affecting their physical look too. Because I've seen the physical beauty card too when I was doing the shuffle. It's affecting their, it's, it, it's affecting their physical beauty. They can't find the words to say to you. Yeah, frustrated with sex. They're frustrated with sex too. Give me another card for the collective and the person on their mind, please, spirit. I'll take them. This could be your earth sign, Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This also could be a cancer sign. Illusions. They're both miserable. They're miserable. This person on your mind, whoever they put you in the third party with, this karmic, they're miserable. 
They're miserable because she did love spells to get him. It hurts and I'm broken. This person is hurt and broken over you. I'm feeling like this person can't figure out why they can't come back towards you. I'm feeling like they feel stuck. Like they can't come back towards you. And they're trying to figure out why and it's because of these love spells. I'm hearing the love spells working on them, but any love spells, any any spells on you is not working. Like it's there that that karmic's magic is not even affecting you because you're protected. Your spirit guides like block that before it even had the chance to hit you. Before it even had the chance to affect you, before you even knew. Your spirit guides was already putting a stop to that shit. Yeah, this person was trying to affect your money. I'm picking up with the get into the bad card. This person was trying to is trying to make you have a downfall in your money. This person could be doing money spells on you to make you go broke. But you're protected from it. It's not going to work. None of these spells that this person, that this karmic is putting out is working. Is what I'm picking up. Spirit, give me another card for the collective and the person on their mind, please. Give me another card for the collective and the person on their mind. One more shuffle. Give me another card for the collective. Thank you. Yeah, you brought it into this situation. I'm feeling like this person had you really stressed out at one time. This part you, person had you feeling hurt and broken because they put you in a third party situation. You have their right. You're right and they're wrong. You could have been giving you could have been trying to give this person some type of advice on something. Or I'm also hearing you could have been like giving this person advice on a regular basis but this person never listened to anything that you told them like they never believed anything that you said like they would believe it if it came out of somebody else's mouth somebody else could be like uh the sky is blue and they'll believe it but you could be like the sky is blue and they'll be like what no nah, i i gotta i gotta ask my friend i gotta ask my homeboy like is the sky blue and the homeboy will be like yeah the fucking sky is blue and this person was just re disregarding things that you were saying. You tried to give this you tried to give this person advice from your intuition and they didn't want to listen. And I'm also picking up from this devil card that you could have let this person know when they left you, you're not going to be happy over there and this person didn't listen. Somebody else was on the other side trying to convince this person that the grass was going to be greener. He let other people get into his head. Now he's stuck, now he's stuck, now he's stuck, now he is stuck, is the only thing I could say. Now this person is stuck and obsessed. I'm feeling like they could be being abusive to this karmic. That's what I'm picking up, that's what I'm hearing. This person could be being abusive to this karmic. His family and friends don't fuck with me. So I'm feeling like this could either be... This person's family doesn't get along with you. You may not get along with this person's family, this person's mom, this person's sister, or this person's brother or a friend that they have around them. Somebody, this is the person that's in their ear that tried to push them towards this karmic. Spirit, give me another card for the collective and the person on their mind. Warmer shuffle. Give me a card for the collective and the person on their mind or I'll take one. I'll take one. Yeah, this person wants to come back and tell you that they're sorry. Because they're stressed out about the situation now. The shoe is on the other foot. Now they're feeling the pain. Now they're feeling the hurt that they put you through. This person has been struggling with themselves. They're fighting with themselves on how they're going to come towards you. But I'm also hearing that this person could have been trying to hide you and they still are trying to hide you. That's not for everybody. But for whoever that's for, they're, when they come back towards you, they're still going to be like trying to keep shit a secret. For whatever reason, they're trying to appease somebody. They're trying to appease somebody. Somebody that don't want to see you guys together. Somebody that was saying, that's somebody that was in this person's ear. That you were telling this person and give like, why are you listening to these people? I'm hearing you flat out ask this person, why are you listening to these people about me? Like, why aren't you seeing things with your own eyes? And now this person is seeing things with their own eyes. And you guys struggling again on top of the deck. This person is struggling without you. Give me another card for the collective and the person on their mind. Spirit, please give me another card. 
This could be a twin flame situation. There's union coming. So this person, yeah, this person is trying to figure out how they can come back towards you. They see you're putting yourself first now. You got self-love first on the, on the top of the deck. This person sees you. This person, yeah, you got legal court stresses. So either this person is going through some legal court stresses or they're in, they're like in an imprisonment in their mind. They're in their mind. They're really in their mind about you heavy and they're dealing with betrayal because this karmic is cheating on them. This karmic has other suitors. This person is dreaming about you. They're thinking about you so hard. You're in this person's dreams. You're haunting this person. They can't get you out of their head. And I'm also hearing that's part of their karma for what they did. Spirit, give me another card for the collective and the person on their mind, please. This could be a Sagittarius. This Sagittarius is like, they really need you. They're longing for you. But what is this? I'm not, you're telling this person I'm not coming back because they ghosted you at one point in time. Now this person is sitting back fantasizing about being with you again. This person wants to be intimate with you again. Give me another card for the collective. Give me another card for the collective or I'll take one. I'll take both. Ooh. Yeah, this person can feel you slipping away from them. This person feels lost without you. Like, this person is going crazy without you. This person is going crazy without you. And I feel like with this fucking hater card, whoever this is in this person's ear, that this person had to say, look, you're right, they're wrong. This person is hating on you. And you got this person feeling insecure. You had that person feeling insecure. And that's why they were trying to see your masculine move away from you. Like, anytime they came around you, this person has been around you. Anytime they came around you, like, the envy was just fuming off of them. Just from the simple shit, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you carry yourself. Even, and I'm picking up, this is a masculine energy. Protection needed. Protect yourself. Protect yourself. Send back energy. Script the energy away. Check out that video that I did on how to do um, new moon ritual to script energy back and to break curses. Just using, yes, cleanse yourself and cleanse your home. Like I said, check that video out. Even if you have to go all out and do a reversing spell, if someone is doing spell work on you, get you a double action candle. I'll be doing a video on that soon, how to use the double action candle. When is, there's a, um... There's a full moon coming up. Perfect time to release this energy. Release this energy. Release this karmic's energy. Give me another card for the collective and the person on their mind, please. I'll take it. That's a lot. Speed read. Is what I'm hearing. This person is attracted to your physical beauty. Also, the person who was in your person's ear is envious of your physical beauty. And I'm also picking up with this male energy. This person feels like you look better than their girl. Their girl is jealous of you too. You look better than the better than their girl. Like you holding it down better than their girl. Like you're the. They might be fucking with a karmic self. That's why they're envious of you. You. This person feels like you complete them. They want to come back towards you. I don't want him. He wants. I don't want. I don't want you to have him. This karmic don't want you. That. That's what I was about to say anyway. This karmic does not want you to have this person. This person is, this karmic is searching for information on you. I'm hearing that this karmic is also looking out, looking for pictures of you so she could do some type of spell work on you if she hasn't already done it. This person is frustrated with sex because they don't have that chemistry over there. People are watching you though. All eyes are on you. This karmic's eyes are on you. This person, whoever is in your person, this person's friend, your person's friend who is envious of you, who is in your person's head, they're watching you also. They have some like sick of, sick obsession with you that your person isn't even really aware of but you have people watching you i'm also hearing that you have new suitors watching you but you're letting this situation go 
this person is this person is going to be stuck doing nothing but thinking about the memories that you guys had this person the only option they have right now is to reminisce of you because there's a block between you guys there's a spiritual block there's something that there, you guys spirit doesn't want this to happen right now this person is have this person has to go through some karmic lessons let's pull from the spell casting deck Spirit, Holy Spirit, Spirit, guys, please give me a card for the general, for the collective and the person on their mind. One more shuffle. Give me a card or I'll take one. I feel like Spirit wanted that one to pop out. Yeah. Things are changing. I'm picking up that this person, your person could just like literally feel it in the air. Like they've got a feeling in their chest that they don't like. Because they feel like it's really over. Like, they're really in their head about you. Spirit, give me another card for the collective and the person on their mind. I'll take one. Spirit is saying, focus on you. Focus on your talents. Spirit is also saying, for somebody, Spirit notices that you're focusing on you and your talents and your hobbies, your career, yourself, your self-growth, your spiritual growth. Spirit sees you juggling all these things gracefully. Spirit sees you juggling all these things gracefully. Yeah, you're having clarity about the situation. You're just sitting back thinking about the situation. You're in your head about the situation too, but not as much as this person. You feel the loss too, but not as much as this person. This person is having clarity themselves about the situation. This person could also be getting tarot readings on you. This person could, yeah, this person is looking at tarot readings. They're watching you like they're really trying to figure out what's going on with you, what's going on in your head. They feel like you have somebody else. Spirit, give me another card for the collective and the person on their mind. Give me another card or I'll take one. I'll take one. This person feels like, with this good luck card, this person feels like you achieve things that they can't, is what I'm picking up from this good luck card. And you do it so gracefully, I'm still hearing that word gracefully, like you achieve and manifest prosperity and abundance, whether it's in love, whether it's um, financially, whether it's spiritually, whether in any area of life. Like you do it with grace, you manifest, you manifest. And if there's something that you want, you go after it. And this person is jealous of that. Somebody's masculine is jealous of them. Somebody's masculine is jealous of them. They could have been purposely trying to hurt you. Somebody's masculine was purposely trying to hurt you because they see your blessings. They see your blessings and they're jealous of your blessings. But they're dwelling in negative energy. And that's why they can't manifest like you. But this person, even though they're jealous of you, they are in love with you. Like they view you as their divine and they want you in their life. But there's an enemy around you that I'm hearing. I'm picking up. This message is there's an enemy around you that wants to get close to you to see what's going on in your life. To figure out how you do things. To find out information about you so they could go and run their mouth about you. So they could go and gossip. Block that energy. This will be the last one. Yeah, because they see all your abundance. They, they see all your abundance. They want to gossip about you and bring you down. Just to make themselves look good. They see that you're at peace. They see that you're happy. They see that... You're good. You're good. And they're not. And you don't even like you don't even care. Like you see how she's just like into herself. Eyes closed, comfortable, ain't worried about a thing. She don't got one eye open watching around. Make sure anything you're protected. You know, you're protected. Like you're worried about yourself and this person is worried about you. 
whoever this person is that's envious of you. I'm feeling like you got more than one person around you that's envious of you. Just based on how you carry yourself, I'm hearing. Give me one more card, Spirit. One more card and we'll wrap it up. Yeah. You manifest. You manifest. Somebody is a master manifester. You're very good at manifesting. You could be dreaming about this person. Or this person wants you to dream about them. They're trying to do dream magic on you. So you'll be in your head like they're in their head. They want you to think about them too. They don't want to let go of you. They don't want this situation to come to an end. But I feel like somebody's manifesting this situation to come to an end. Like you're pushing out. You're pushing out all the negative energy. So new positive energy can just flow in. The negative energy is going out. And the positive energy is just flowing in. One's going out. One's flowing in. One's going out. One's flowing in. Okay, so those are the messages that I have for that reading right there. If you found a resonating message with, message with that, please hit the like button, the subscribe button if you already haven't. Thank you guys for all the love you guys have been showing me and helping my channel grow and all the subscribes. I think I get like 100 freaking subscribers a day. That is so crazy. More than that, actually. I appreciate you guys like vibing with me, vibing with my spirit guides. My spirit guides are vibing with your spirit guides and we're getting these messages out. So, um, oh, also, you guys don't forget about my $100 cash app giveaway. I'll be doing that on May 31st. So subscribe, hit the like, and leave your cash app in the comments. And I will see you guys next reading. Thank you for your support and love. Love you guys.